confirm and go live. Start video transmission. Okay. Is it even showing anything? Okay. Yeah, it's working now. All right, we just won't have to recap. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. They watched the last episode, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably fine. What do we do about dead relic? What is yeah. that? Party so people. continue. Point, oh. and, point and laugh. <laughs> so Brelick is uh -huh. gonna be is gonna be tricky, but how many Brady's times body. have you died as you Brelick? Mean like you mean full Ever. dead? Yes. Only once, right? Is, is that what you're asking? Yeah. I've I've fully died once before, if I okay. remember correctly. I think so. Um, yeah. Wait. Here you go, Harry. Was was there a point in Act One where I went down and had to get revived? Yeah, no. but not dead, dead. Not dead, dead. Okay, I got. Okay, I do remember getting. We've only had two there. like yeah, dead, dead deads, dead. and I was. There's the text, the Harry. Uh, <laughs> the what, Aunt Cannon? Here's, there's the text of my method of choosing for revival. Wasn't uh. Okay. What, what's it called? Raise dead. No one. Yeah. Okay. If I look at my inventory and have a revive scroll, it's gonna be so funny. Because I didn't. Need it it. A... Well, it's been a lot. It's been a bit since he's been. Dead. Or you could just let me revivify. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, no, it's I... been too long for revivify now. Dude, no. Oh, no. That, it, that is true. It has been too long. For and you were upstairs, lucky. so. Yeah. We ruled it as like you wouldn't be able to. Wouldn't have been able to get there in time. I think. I feel like we should have figured this out before. We did. We did. Oh, we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're being revived, brother. I am? Wake I up, think. soldier. That's what you're doing, right, Cannon? You have to say it. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know you might have personal views on this as oh I start God. to cast the spell. Jesus Christ. But we need you to finish this fight. <laughs> Wake up, soldier. Your time's not done. <laughs> if I had a way to ask you, I would. But oh my. I don't. Non-consensual. <laughs> As okay. yeah, Clear. Colin fucking pads you, zaps you back to life with his divine energy of Awa. And uh Braylick, you feel a uh a, a heart a heartbeat in the second and the third and um Wait, doesn't make, a make a constitution make a constitution save, Braylick. Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, uh, as Braylick is gaining consciousness, I say to him, Whoa, we almost um, lost you there. You were unconscious for a second. Um, so I have to make a constitution <laughs> like save with her, him. right? Yeah, go ahead and make it. <laughs> Anything above a 15, you'll be no, awake. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda really wanna fa fail this, but... Well, it's a 15, there's no way you pass. It's it's a plus 10. It's kinda... Wait, so it's a 15 <laughs> for him to live? No, for uh, him oh. to be awake. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's like conscious. Holy shit. Yeah, he's good. All right. Yeah, Bray, like you, you, no, 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 your no. hazy eyes uh, awaken, and Roland says that line to you. I don't even know what he said, but. What did he say? <laughs> I said, "Oh, Bray, like, good thing." I basically said, "Good thing you didn't die. You were unconscious there for a second." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy, bro. I, the, the, the only thing that comes out of Braylick's mouth when he first is waking up is, the, the clown was here. <laughs> oh, he's not as upset this time. That's good. Let's go. Okay, Enough I, I just pretend like clown. I didn't say what I said, and I, I go like the clown. I know. Did he? Was he the one that got you? <laughs> yes, I... Oh God! <laughs> I just... You you would remember everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I would. What what happened? Yeah, it's like a bad dream. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> it's gonna just sound so cringe, but you know what? Fuck it. Like <laughs> he he filled me with so much rage. I. I killed so many people, I <laughs> I didn't know. It's not your fault, Brelik. That clown. It's mine. 
We couldn't have predicted it. I thought that's what you were gonna say. Ken. No, I thought you were gonna say it's not your fault. It was mine. I should have pretended to be my son. I'm sorry. I wish we were so divided throughout this place. I wish I could have come sooner. But we found our next steps. He's gonna remain just a little silent in the moment. We and found Solomon. We we should we should probably get the fuck out of here. Fair enough. This is why we don't. There's take fucking two bus songs. How did this happen? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Where's Connick? Where is Connick? This is a good question. I was blasting people outside. I remember. Or um. At some point, I remember. Oh, I'm in yeah. here. Okay. I'll just drop you back downstairs with them. Am I dead right now? Um, <laughs> no. Am I unconscious or something? Oh, um, you might be unconscious. Oh, do you want to make a Do you want to yeah. make a con save to see if you wake up? <laughs> I think Basong is carrying you right now. Uh, how many I charges am? do I have on my healing staff? Yeah, Not you'd enough. be awake. You'd you'd wake up in this moment where Roland is like uh kneeling uh, by Braylick and and uh, Braylick's coming to as well. Uh, here, Braylick, let me give you a top off. Um, <laughs> I knew Mike would chuckle with that. Yeah, I knew Mike would chuckle with that. <laughs> 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 Too obvious. I, guess, I, wake up. Say, Mike. I wake up. I'm being carried, right? Yeah. Yes. You're not even awake, Mike. Yeah, yes. I'll <gasps> and I'll wiggle. I'll wiggle out of your arms. <laughs> yeah, do you what let him fuck? bosong? You don't, you don't want to be carried in my big strong arms, Mike? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. Dalen, you, you roll what off and fuck? you land on the floor. Uh, on the floor that's covered in broken glass. There's, right, there's a lot of destruction in this room, yeah. You heal for oh, wow. 15. He was here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you took advantage of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it's already been. Wow, added. Dalen's a completely different character than who he was before. <laughs> it's been oh, a while. <laughs> He's been I changed. He's been touched. <laughs> Once you go clown, you never. Clown can't keep you down. Um, yeah, as you would all uh, be. Reminiscing of this time you've spent in the blind man's bluff, the clown had appeared in several uh, instances, sounds like. Braylick said he saw the clown, Dalen said he saw the clown, and they were both pretty far apart, as far as you could tell. And so... So many goddamn clowns. You're not sure what's going on there, but it seems like... You can't be sure, but that presence of this evil apparition seems to uh, have have departed, at least from this room where it once was now you guys when you saved Suleiman um he he had tasked Osiris and Connick with taking their group, which is the rest of you guys, to um, uh, to find his original master, which was a guy named Supplant Oman. And he gave Osiris a, uh, a binding talisman, which basically was bound to binding vow. this other talisman <laughs> that in theory, Supplant Oman is uh, carrying. Um, like a friendship bracelet. Yeah. And so uh, he dashed off into the night. He said he would go, uh, I believe it, he, he said he would be retreating to a place called the White Palace. Um, but it seemed as though your next course in order to uncover the puppet masters, the, the puppeteers behind this whole bedlam operation 
was to follow the strings, and in this case, the strings of the puppets, and uh, in this case, the string being a uh, supplant Oman. Your next uh, immediate task, it seemed like, would be uh, to f to hunt him down, essentially. And uh, he wants you to kill him. That's what he said. Suleiman wants you to kill this guy. Um, so that was where you kind of left off. Many of you are uh, badly beaten and bruised. Not me. <laughs> Not conic, Not me, of course. Can, can be conic. Osteris is mm -hmm. hung in pretty well against his demon, his fiend, rather. Um, I'll live. You recall the outside world being rather uh, unforgiving in this part of the world. Um, you feel as though it may be best to rest before heading back out into into the city, especially with the demons on the loose fiends. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. True. <laughs> Beefling, demons, just, just ask the all evil. Exactly the same. So, all evil. We can assume or uh, that you all uh, long rested somewhere within this uh, casino oh, nice. that you found comfortable. Is that is that a safe assumption from you guys? I would yeah, think I like that so. assumption. Okay. Were there any chips on the tables while we were long resting? Like poker chips? Okay. okay. Uh, Roland doesn't do that. Wrong campaign. Sorry. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> like, there we loot the casino. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cannon. Thank Just you, Vance. I mean, Cannon. So yeah, everybody, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, rest your character sheets. No, it's against my character's nature, kid. Casino. You like that, wouldn't you? Remember all the divinity time we wasted, Cannon? <laughs> I will ignore it. It's okay. Well, I took a I took a solemn vow not to do that in our divinity playthrough. Or in our Gate uh, play. Baldur's Gate playthrough, whenever it happens. That you still play? Yes. Because I love my friends. Will doesn't know yep. it yet, but he's been grifted. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Will doesn't know that. Finished installing. That's crazy. So Anyways. you all awaken wherever that may be within this casino and uh, regroup. We'll say down in the uh, in the ballroom area, kind of the the center area. At this point, um, all of the tiefling tokens you see now uh many all of the ones that aren't dead wouldn't be there anymore um okay people would have fled the scene but the dead ones are the dead ones are still there yeah uh, the piles of dead bodies in the uh in you know the what harry fuck it i loot the casino in the entryway <laughs> do you that's against your nature not against mine i loot not for like casino. money and stuff i look for things that are useful okay sure Go ahead, roll, um, investigation check. Go ahead, David. I know you want to. I really do. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> um. Why do you have a plus zero, you loot goblin? <laughs> This character's not built for looting. I'm also fine with getting back to this to keep pushing forward for now. So, Roland, um, you would... Um, mm -hmm. On the... Well, we'll say, where do you want to investigate exactly in the casino? Um, you said all the living people are not here anymore, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess I would say then in the gambling room and at the bars. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so searching through there with your, um, 
23. Um, you know, there's a lot of... It's just an absolutely trashed uh, establishment. The music is still going, magically, it would seem. Like, this... It's kind of an eerie... Uh, an eerie scene with, like, this calming, smooth jazz playing with, like, just dead bodies, like, slung against, like, uh, you know... <laughs> Uh, gambling tables and uh, across like the ballroom mm -hmm. floor and things like that um, but you go into the casino room and you search through the debris and you're not really finding much but along you thumb your hand along the edges of the casino table and uh, your hand comes upon the hilt of what seems like a weapon um, strapped under well. the uh, table Nice. And uh, you pull the weapon out, and it looks like a dagger um, of kind of an ornate design. Um, and it has kind of like this gold hilt that, like, one side goes down, one side goes up. And there's an in inscription on like the handle where the where the uh, where it meets the hilt and it just says um, gun hunting all right and I will uh, share this item with you Um, I'm gonna plop it in your inventory. It's a uh, dagger of Whoa. venom. Very cool. All right. Well, that concludes um, my thing. David, Maybe. you are searching. Where do you search? <laughs> um, <laughs> the pile of dead bodies, David. Yeah, well, I'll just go scrounging amongst the bodies. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. You do so. And with your two, um, you don't really identify much, like, like nothing stands out, but you do see an odd-looking pink like handbag um just doesn't seem like it's on a corpse it's just laying in this in like a blood puddle um like right in the center of the doorway um when you walk in and uh it just it just has a very odd look to it like compared to most other things in this uh place it, everything is very um elegant and ornate and uh, this bag just looks like patchwork um, strange style like you haven't seen anything pink in a long time <laughs> just like clothing wise this will really accentuate my loincloth and hammer yoink okay yeah you pick it up I look inside of it um you see nothing but darkness uh, I stick hey, my hand into it. Your hand's gone. Um, Whatever. let's see. Could you, um, <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> you, you put your hand into the bag, um, and you feel a sear a searing pain take hold of your of the back of your hand um and it's like latch it's latched onto you like it's wrapped around your arm and it's like pulled your shoulder like closer to the uh the socket can you make me a strength save okay if you're trying to pull your hand away <laughs> yeah yeah I think I <laughs> it's a dc20 <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm good you uh you yank it out and um uh 
on your arm. It it looks like it has been submerged in uh this black tar like substance. Uh and your arm is sizzling. Um like uh as you stand there it continues to sizzle un- uh beneath the the liquid that is that has covered your arm. Um I'm gonna wipe that off. Okay. I'm gonna pick up one of the tiefling's dead bodies and use them as like a hand rag. Yeah, that works actually. You take seven acid damage, but cool. um, you what you successfully wipe it off on the tieflings, and as you do, you watch as it like eats further and further. Like it starts on top, and then it just starts lowering as it like eats into uh, the the flesh of the tiefling through the clothes, through the flesh, and then into the floorboards beneath the tiefling's body question does my my hammer the one i originally brought to this continent does it start glowing is this <laughs> does bro your thinks hammer... he's thor bro wait does your hammer glow with that let's it, see it glows in the presence of is bo song worthy Mordials. um <laughs> <laughs> when the bag is open the hammer glows <laughs> 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 And as soon as the flap shuts when you when you pull your arm away, uh, it 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 reverts back to its inert uh, non-glowing state. I see. Well, this could be useful. <laughs> I, I stole it on my hip. Yeah, yeah, you do so. Right on. Right. Okay. Peachy. So everybody is rested. Would anyone else like to loot before they leave? Uh, I rolled a 16. What, did you say what I got already? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Um, Matthew Welsh, Braylick. Um, right. you, right. you <laughs> are, uh, where do you search in this, uh, place? Probably the room where I fucking died. Okay, sure, yeah. That makes whoa, sense. Whoa, whoa, I deceived you. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went fucking lunch? down, you dumbass. Um, but, Braylick. But you weren't conscious when you lost your third death save, so... I know I went down, and I didn't wake the fuck back up. What do you mean I woke you, you up? You did wake hey, up. Yeah, you were unconscious. You didn't die. I rolled a 12 on my deception, Matt. How did my fucking body get... <laughs> You woke up, my son. I woke you up. I mean, fight is a no. You were anyway, unconscious, so I woke you up. Anyway, what the fuck do I get? Well, so also, who the fuck had a bag of guar? Me. <laughs> you're searching. You're searching. Um, in this room, Matt, and you recall uh, the revolutionary uh, tiefling that you fought against um, looked like this. Um, and she was, you know, no match for you, of course. But you noticed while you were fighting her that the blade that she was wielding was definitely magically enhanced. And so you you go back to that time before you were dead, and you 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 revisit that memory, and you find her corpse, which is underneath of the fiend, um, and kind of like her her, you know. Conveniently, her body is squished by the fiend, the fiend, but then her her arm and her blade had toppled like off to the side. Um, mm-hmm. You uh, see her blade and uh, you pick it up. It um, seems to be magically enchanted with some sort of uh, frost. Wow. Um, some some elemental blade. That's what you know. Um, I will, well, sometimes I feel like identifying magic items, like, properly is just, like, an administrative Fringe. thing. Um, Harry, hmm. in the meantime, I am going to search for the demon summoners, their bodies. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that, that Ooh. Okay, well, yeah, um, uh, Matt is, found one, and it's crushed under the, um, the 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 fiend 
do you want to um, move the fiend somehow to get to this the rest of this body? Yeah, I'll simply move him. Okay. Um, how? I can help with that. <laughs> yeah. He simply moves out of the fuck away from me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we're okay. Bro's He's dead. crushed under here in the room. Um, I am going to. Let's see. You can also conscript your uh, martial brethren to assist you if you if you want that as well. Bosong, if you'd be ever so kind, I need to investigate this summoner of demons. Done. And Braylick's right next to the corpse as well. Braylick, would you like to assist Basong in moving this body? Sure. Do I need to roll a strength as well? You can just give, uh, you can do a help action on Basong. I'll give him the Basong. help action. You have advantage, Would Basong. you please carve a piece of this demon's heart out for me? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 22. Yeah, I so... I it for later. It takes a couple of tugs, Basong. Like, it's not light work. Um, but, you know, this thing is, like, 600 pounds, probably. Just, like, collectively. Maybe more. Uh, and you you yank, yank, yank. You kind of drag it off um, bit by bit. And the corpse that is revealed is uh, just, like, barely humanoid anymore. It's, like, uh, very crushed. Um Bones and flesh are definitely uh, one and the same with this body. Um, and you ask him to carve out some of the demon's heart? Carve out the demon's heart for me <laughs> while I investigate the body of the summoner. Uh, there might be someone who's better at survival than I am. No, do you, Bosong. Do you say that I've in seen character? you cut those dragon legs. <laughs> You're the man for this job. Fair enough. You know, I survival a dog ass. It's plus four. Make a survival check, Basong. See, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, he's cracked. All right, so Basong drives. Uh, I'm assuming you have some kind of blade into, nice yeah, into the chest cavity of the fiend. And while he does that, um, Conic, you search through the clothes of, or the the mush that is this uh, person that is remains. Uh, make me an investigation check. I've investigated. Yeah, so on this revolutionary's body, revolutionary, okay. you uh, would see a red stone. Um, and it's clear that this pouch it was within contained more stones at one point, um, but this is seemingly the last stone. Um, and yeah, you can uh, add summoning stone to your inventory. I'll actually just share it with you. Fog. Assuming that you just identify it. Um, and you know that there was one upstairs at the, on the roof as well, Conic, one of the other summoners, but you feel as if, um, that, uh, well, that they, they might not have, uh, a stone like this one did. That's Thank just you, God, intuition. for giving me that vision. Yeah. Thank you, God, for giving me that vision. So you don't feel the need to check. <laughs> Premonitions. There's no, there is no other stone. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Basong, you continue carving out uh, the heart, and Konik, you look up as he does so, and, uh, Basong is in the process of heaving this, uh, this heart out of his chest. Um, it's probably about the size of a head. Um, did you want him to give you the whole heart, or just a piece of it? Hmm. <laughs> size of my head? Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> It is absolutely drenched in blood. Basong, you're, 
you know, you're no stranger to it, so you're, you're fine, but you're both just caked in red and blood right now. Yeah, I don't care. Gonna, now I have a red head instead of a white head. I'm gonna hand Conic heart, and then I'm, and then I'm gonna start just like butchering the rest of the carcass for food. You can have, you can add <laughs> dev, dev, <laughs> devil heart to your inventory, uh, Conic. God, I love carrying capacity. <laughs> um, and Basong, how much meat you want to carve off? Roll a survival trick. A couple, you know, some prime steaks, you know, some hams. Okay, sure. That sounds like high quality meat. <laughs> I'm sure, none of this would get you ill. You, uh, you successfully. I use every piece of the buffalo. You, uh, <laughs> you are leaving nothing, nothing behind. I went on a camping trip. I would be with David. It is what it is. <laughs> um, can, I need Doctor Stone Cannon work. with me and the Wild Man Butcher with me. And uh, the camp perfect Ooh. camping party. You can add five devil ham steaks. And, Holy shit, uh, it worked! And three prime uh, devil prime cuts. Holy uh, shit, this is like this looting is all, sword and Minecraft looting sword. This what is all um, raw meat, of course, um, mm. for you to cook at a later date. So, um, and you've never, I, well, have you had devil before, Basong? What do you think? No. Okay, well, you do you think he would even distinguish that it's a different, uh... Not particularly. All right, well, you're, you know, you, you pound this meat into your pack. Uh, it's heavy, but you're fine. Um, and it's definitely dripping with blood. I don't know if you take much care in, <laughs> in making sure that it's, you know, not, but it's, it's definitely, like, gonna just make your bag a big bloody soppy mess basically so how many steaks and how many hams was it it was five ham steaks and three prime cuts nice <laughs> should uh last you a long while and by the time uh basong is done this devil looks um basically flayed to the bone from the top uh half of his body Um, what's, uh, what, does anyone have a, a, a reaction to this, uh, as, as he does so? Or Tonic is drenched in blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are watching them is, just, like, take apart look, a devil. Do they maybe like, have Tonic like already looked like a sink? schizo freak, but now he looks like an extreme schizo freak. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my Tonic, god. You, uh, you, you have something... On you, right over there. Kind of gives you a smile as there's just blood dripping down his bandages. <laughs> I do have something. More power. <laughs> All right, but you also have some blood on you. Do you want to clean that up? The blood of the devil does not scare me. It will only bolster our efforts to destroy the clown. <laughs> Wait, but it's, I mean, we don't know where the cloud is. I mean, there's a lot of people that we're probably going to have to pass, and they're it's tiefling going cosplay. to scream bloody murder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have prestidigitation. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who would is Connick, and he didn't have that. You only enhance the ritual. <laughs> Roll it. There's a bathroom, Harry. I see it. I see the big sink. <laughs> there is, there is a bathroom. Yeah, but you don't know. Anyway, no. Um, I still love that I can see into this toilet from yeah. this room. <laughs> that was people. really funny. <laughs> I forgot a wall. Okay. <laughs> um, so those of you, you all, uh, well, you all finished looting. I'll, uh, I'll say it's, it's done. Looting phase over. Um, get out of here, Roland. You don't belong no, there. I'm trying to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, Osiris, you feel the, uh, binding talisman that you acquired from Vizier Suleiman. It, like, vibrates a little bit. Like one of those, like, restaurant, uh, reminder things for your table. Uh -huh. It like, mm, like in your, uh, in in your pack or your hand or wherever it is yeah. on you, uh, and it makes it a little bit of a noise as everyone regroups in the center of the ballroom. 
Um, some of them do not know, uh, uh, some of the faithful do not know of this, uh, deal that you struck with, uh, Suleiman. Um, do you want to, uh, catch them up to the task that you acquired? Yeah, I'll just, I'll give them the spiel. You'll dump it on them, yeah. I think he was at some fucking church, right, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he said... That you're looking for an old mosque. A yeah, mosque, that's what it was. It's like, that's what I vaguely remember. <laughs> and so, um, Osiris holding the binding talisman, the group regrouping in the center ballroom of the blind man's bluff after the bloodiest uh, devil battle uh, any of you have been part of. Um, I'll assume you all begin to make your way back out into the snow through the massive hole that the devil left behind in the front of the casino. There's a nice draft coming in. Yes. All right. Oh, uh, Brelik, don't forget to hit the long rest button on your character sheet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro's dead as fuck. Wouldn't want you dying again, pal. You, I mean, too, sorry, sorry, you too, Dalen. You too, Dalen. Damn, Cannon's just a nice guy watching out for his party. Very good. All right. Yeah, Cannon. Don't let them die. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> and you all uh, waltz out. Dalen, Dalen, you're. Uh, also, we're not forgetting that uh, what Ray's dead does to someone, right? The de detriments. Oh, does uh, it? No, no, ah. he's not evil. Oh, Cannon, you ah. fucking bastard! You just wanted someone else to be evil. You, Harry, he got gotcha. you. He got gotcha. you. Well, he's just no trying way. to turn someone else. No, evil. he's talking no, about actual it detriments. It doesn't. At... No, 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 no. It doesn't make. No, him into no, it. no, no. Oh. Is he just got no, I don't know, to all attack rolls, saving throws, ability checks, and every time they finish a long rest, that penalty you, so you, wait, you brought back Braylick so he could be just nerfed Braylick? Yo, Matt, <laughs> kill yourself now. He's just feeling a little under the weather. It. And he doesn't know why since he didn't die. Matt, you have to kill yourself now. What? Well, it's just a minus three now. He just did a long it rest. Says... Every time the tar target finishes a long rest, penalty is reduced by one until it disappears. Matt, the simple solution yeah, is to kill see? yourself. Cannon, you're retarded. <laughs> I could, if you, if, had I known this, I literally would have <laughs> been like, yeah, no, actually, <laughs> I'll just let myself die <laughs> and come back as the healer. <laughs> it's not that bad. Sorry, Cannon, <laughs> you're retarded, buddy. It's not that bad. I could kill you. <laughs> Dude, I'll gladly right, do it. Do it, you, you want a new character? Let's arrange it right now. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him. Sorry, Cannon. That's you already started. Oh, oh, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, crabs, crabs, you know? No, David, don't bring crabs into D&D. &D. That stays in League. <laughs> that, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's okay. Keep the crabs out of D&D. I'm on Cannon. Oh, this is such right. a bitch to keep track of online, you fuck. <laughs> We'll it's just, just uh, three more long rests. We'll just, uh, you it know, actually for... it's not. We'll just do manual. I'll we'll apply it to your character sheet for you. If you, yeah, if you want to do manual, I'm, I'm. We'll down just do to manual. Do I think that'll I, be easiest. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep it in my notes for now. Okay. And you all leave the blind man's bluff back in the. There's a global Snow modifier troops. you can edit on your character sheet. Oh yeah, there is. That's actually a good. Is is that for all? The, like I saw, it's like I have to add it to multiple things to keep track of. Yeah, it should just universally. Yeah, it's just, you go to. Yeah, it's under global bonuses, and oh, then okay, you just I do it, it to the effect, the three affected categories: gotcha, attack gotcha, rolls, saving gotcha. throws, and ability check. Ability checks and saving throws and attacks, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I can't. Yeah, I mean, that fight with the devil, I mean, it just took so much out of you, the fucking clown guy. <laughs> Feeling under the weather, you know? Nothing to do with me. This guy eats rocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Osiris is leading you all. And. He takes you to the north side. He takes you further north to kind of like the north side of the city. And as you enter this part of the city, you find that the snow is much deeper. It's like up to your knees. Oh, and as you've been walking through the city, um, those patrons that were once part of the casino revelry are you know boarded up in their houses you you see one of them you'll you'll see one like close the blinds as you pass by or shut the shutters or close the door uh, as they themselves only just make it back to their home uh, and there are blood trails everywhere like these people are just like wounded uh, running for their lives trying to get home and oh. stay inside uh, while well, presumably this, uh, while well, these devils, uh, run free on the city. Um, but you trudge onward toward your, uh, in step with Osiris through the snow. Um, in this part of town, you know, it's also a lot more rocky in that you realize you're approaching kind of like literally the north end of town, like the northern end of the city. Uh, like beyond that, there would be no more city. And uh, it's this massive bluff uh, that kind of flanks the backside of the city. Um, and the closer you get, Osiris, you can feel... Um, the magic of the binding talisman swell and swell. Michael liked that one. Um, here. And from this bluff you see the walls of a very ancient looking building wrapping the front uh, kind of archway and two dim flames flicker on either side of this archway it, they illuminate non nothing uh, beyond the entrance. It's just this wall of darkness. But it would seem as though they were recently lit, though you do not see anyone nearby. As you step toward this ancient looking structure, built into the side of this bluff, essentially. Uh, only your mind can imagine what's beyond, what's inside this dark place. Um, basically, Osiris, it looks like your talisman is guiding you into this <laughs> structure, into this place. And as far as you can tell, there's no other entrance it's just this massive wall along the um, the bluff that kind of flanks the back of the city. Um, there is a foreboding feeling uh, to this place. Are there any actions Boated. that you all would like to take before let's kill them all entering or 
Are there any yes, spell Yes, I do checks? have an action. I would like to use Divine Sense. Okay. But to you detect you're a bard. Ping it for us. What? <laughs> oh, you did. No, I'm not. I Here you are. Garden. I detect celestial fiends or undead within 60 feet of me as I approach the front. Why is the bard detecting? <laughs> this is uh, my narrative. Nobody stop him. He's speeding. Stop him. He's breaking the rules. He shouldn't be able to do stop that. Stop him. Roland, you use your divine sense and this energy fills your eyes as you uh, perceive your surroundings. Past this darkness, you see nothing, but you hear only you, the sounds of bells and wind chimes. Well, I think we have nothing to fear, guys. How much time did that take, by the way? For him to do that? One action. Yeah. Just an action, yeah. Oh, one action. Oh, okay. So. Within a minute. It lasts for, like, a round or whatever. You note, as you all approached this building and made your way up through the north side of town, you look back at where you came from, and there are lines that you've made through the snowdrifts, like uh, clear tracks of your passage. And you wonder if there are other tracks, uh, perhaps nearby, that are not your own. I think he's telling us someone else has been here. <laughs> it would, <laughs> it seems as though there's been some, someone else been here some here? passage. Um, well, Guys, someone I'm else getting has been a here. premonition that someone else has been here. You get, you get the, you get the impression for sure that somebody has uh, been by recently, especially to light the flames. But uh, beyond that, that you're not sure. sure. But I'm not sure beyond that. <laughs> I cast magic. Right on. I you can't magic. do that. <laughs> but you're a you barbarian. Can't. You're a barbarian. Oh. You don't have spells. Osiris, oh. do you say anything to the group? Before, I like that. Uh, Osiris, what do you, how do you feel standing before this large uh, archway, arched doorway into darkness? How do I feel? Mm. Is Osiris steadfast and unwavering? Oh, of course. But I'm wondering... Well, uh, Does he believe his allies? Also, oh, I don't believe in any of these fucks. <laughs> a bunch of psychopaths, a lot of demon meat, and jerk on up. I don't know. Believe in them, but uh, I am steadfast in my uh, my goal here. Okay. Harry, what did the spirits tell me? Um. Cast augury. Is it going to be good or bad if we go in there? Augury. Uh, consult the spirits. It's the uh, augury. Why can't I click that? Oh, here we go. Um, the DM chooses from the following possible omens. Wheel for good results. Woe for bad results. Wheel and woe for both good and bad results. Nothing for results that aren't especially good or bad. What's going to happen if we go in there, oh spirits? <laughs> <laughs> um, when you communicate with, like, how you're flavor flavoring this, yeah. um, These are the the Podunk ancestors of of past. Yes. Okay. And they a specific course of action giving you a result. Um. You see wheel. 
All right, base, let's go in there. The ancestors have spoken. <laughs> Um, and so it seems as though the faithful few have kind of resolved themselves outside of this door and are ready to head in. Osiris, do you lead them inside? Oh, Osiris... I, Roland. Yeah, Roland stepped up. Roland, Roland leads leader. them yeah. in. You're right. Go ahead. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> um, I like how Cannon wasn't ready either, but he saw the opening and he fucking jumped back in to take it. He fucking took it. <laughs> I love that, Cannon. I had to. It was too perfect. <laughs> That's our goat. That's our guy. <laughs> he was top guy. Good job, Cannon. Okay. Um, Good job, Cannon. Thanks, Cannon. Huzzah. Thanks, buddy. Hurrah, brother. Roland, you lead the troop inside. You're the best, Cannon. You intend to see this holy quest to its completion. Indeed. Says the evil guy. And your eyes <laughs> adjust to the darkness. <laughs> all, all of you, as you step in, your eyes adjust to the darkness, even if you don't have dark vision. Um, it's more dimly lit than anything. Um, but the inside of this place looks to be a ruin, essentially. Um but unfinished as well as there's like rocks and features of caves in this place um like it doesn't look like a finished um mosque uh let's see here oh wrong folder There's snow on the floor, the inside of this place, jagged rock walls, everything inside of this cavern is very crudely carved, and you reach the top of a set of stone steps. The snow drifts are kind of blowing in the draft of the mouth of this uh, place. Long icicles hanging from the ceiling, dripping. It's a bit warmer in here, you know, given the shelter, but um, there are balconies flanking this interior space. Um, so basically on all sides of this room, there is a balcony, except the side that you're walking in on. Um, one on the left, one on the right. Divinity again to see if I hear the the spell sounds again. Yeah, yeah. Er, yeah. go for it. Cue the divine sense. Yeah, divine sense. Not a. I can use it a couple times a day. So yeah. Before the balcony on the far end of the room. There's a man standing before some kind of pedestal. Um, Bilko. He doesn't appear to have noticed you. <laughs> but his head is bowed. Like, his head is bowed before this shrine. 
Um, and Osiris, the binding talisman, uh, reacts appropriately. You remember um, Osiris specifically. Suleiman said that this supplant Oman character was the former second chair on the Council of Destiny. Could you make me a history check, Osiris? Wait, Council of Destiny? What I'm is really that good mean? good history. And would Can you, I make a history check, Harry? Would you have relayed that detail, do you think? Yeah, I, I was just okay. going to relay the entire yeah, conversation. Yeah. Okay, so Connick, you More would More so because also... I don't remember fuck what happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Canon, with your divine sense, um, you're looking to see the bells. Now you're 60 feet. 60 feet, where are you right now? You're... Um, you hear from the distance. I want the independence of Zahn. <laughs> Let my people go. <laughs> um, you don't hear the bells, but there is a strong presence of decay and rot coming from the upper left balcony. Um, and these balconies are like 40 feet above ground right now. Um, so they're like an elevated platform. Uh, and there don't appear to be any staircases leading up to them. Though you can make a perception check to see if you can find one. I, I just say to everyone, um, heads up, I'm sensing some kind of death in this room. <laughs> um, Connick. No, no, besides you. As he says this to you, you're <laughs> identifying what this means for Supplin Oman to be a former second chair of the Council of Destiny and Destiny. for what purpose he is here. Purpose. You recall Suleiman um, recounting that. Oman was once a uh, once on this council. However, he and the prophet did not see eye to eye. Specifically, um, the prophet is like a single future kind of a guy, you know, and Oman believes in free will essentially he left the council of destiny due to these disagreements he actually attended the festival of peace on behalf of destiny wait was that the um, motherfucker we saw at the beginning i wouldn't have seen him but relic would have Right? Yes, some of some of the first faithful may have encountered him on a wagon. Um, oh yeah, Bray, like <laughs> search through your part mechanical, part biological receptors search your in your data brain. Storage. Search your data. Um, I, I have foreseen the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. This is a nexus effect. <laughs> you have met in past and present. No. To foresee the future. Is the meeting re-encountered and the past? They collide right here, Brelik. Do you recognize him? Council Oman. Think, Brelik, think! Do you have his portrait? You... And then boom, Brelik flashback. Well, let's let's do it. Uh, yeah, brain blast. Do, do a history check for me, Bray. Like with advantage, given Connex. Um... Wait, who was the tiefling at the uh, the in the cart with us? It was Damien, <laughs> which was um, the guy who 
ate, would ate a fucking corn dog or he ate a, shit like that. A corn dog. Have we seen sausage. Damien again? You haven't seen him since, no. Okay. Since Ock but tried to kill on. him. I was gonna say, I was like, Zoom all I remember about Damien was he ate like a fucking corn dog or some yeah. weird shit. Like that was John's like, oh. character trait that he gave him. <laughs> and he talked like this, see? Corn dog. Yeah. He was corn a radio dog. announcer. Oh, dude. dude, dude. <laughs> I remember when that happened because Cannon was Cannon is the glass of Cannon tried to fight with John in character and he was just eating a corn dog the whole time. <laughs> and he would wiggle it in front of you as he would, well. He would just wiggle in front of Cannon and ask him what a bite. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, Braylick, like, you can have advantage on the history check given Connick some spark that he's kind of uh, trying to ignite within you. Um, 17. Uh, yeah. You... You remember the Festival of Peace. It's vague now, as if of another life. My mouth is open while the DM speaks through it. But you hear the music as you uh -huh. approach the Kingdom of Cistern. And you remember the Vidalcan remember that sat the across. That sat across. From you in this uh, wagon, and in as he wagon. exited, well, actually, and as he exited, what the fuck up, man? <laughs> you all stepped this, out man. of the wagon before he did, and when the Sorry. final person looked back at him, he didn't seem to move to get off. In fact, he said, "Oh yeah, I intend to stay on my path, my current path." It is one of my own making, and I shall forge it yeah. anew. <laughs> That's when we also realized that Vidal can have the stupid fucking yes. olden voice. And then you got off the wagon, the wagon door closed, and he... I, I should say it's like a, a carriage. Carriage door closed, and then he was taken elsewhere. You didn't see him since then. It's been a long time, needless to say. Um, Damn. You remember uh, his face. Pull it up. Portrait incoming. Whoa! All right. I think this was a portrait that was also used in uh, Calcite. I can't remember. I think so. I can't believe the Vidalcan came from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Takes on a whole new meaning. Now, Conic. Is it for Durat? Yes. Uh, no. Durat had a different one. Mm. Um, I'll have to find it after this. But, Conic, um, you know that as, like, cult uh, culturally, how the Council of Destiny works is, uh, you know, the chairs move upward like they ascend um to being the prophet the prophet is like an identity that they take on once they become the first chair and that means this guy was second in line to be he was next in line to be the prophet after the death of the current one and given that the last prophet is now dead um, he what? This guy, he was the dude who got sniped in the head in Safeguard. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, by your estimation, this Vidalcan, if they do possess any cor kind of ability of foresight, by your estimation, this guy would be the one to have the most powerful foresight capabilities. And if such a Vidalcan were to be working within the walls of Bedlam for in service to the factions of Bedlam you begin to imagine the strings they could pull and the chaos that they could sow in the name of this kingdom if only Nikolai was here Faithful few. Now they all sound the same. <laughs> uh, the 
shrine this man is standing before, this pedestal, is clearly some kind of like raised basin. Like it's it's like a, a pedestal with like a dish of liquid at the top. And he appeared to have been looking into it. The Vidalcan man, clearly, looks up from his reflection in the basin. His eyes are milky white. You recall um, Suleiman indicating that he was blind, <laughs> which was not the case, Braylick, the last time you saw him. Same with you, Dalen, by the way, um, since you were originally there as well. The shrine and where Oman stands are illuminated by this beam of light coming from the wall behind him. There is a symbol on the wall where the light is coming from, but you're not exactly, you can't make out the details of it because of the light, uh, you know, blinding. It's like looking into a projector, right? Um, I have seen your journey and now you are here. I presume by now you would understand. But it would appear the others were more accurate in their assessments of you. As he says this, the light he stands beneath becomes shadowed. You look up to the center balcony behind him, and you see a figure standing there with arms outstretched, palms facing the ceiling, embering eyes watching you. And as the light shines on him, the features of his face become clear, though this man would be a stranger to everyone in the party, but perhaps Braylick and Dalen. Braylick, Dalen, make me an insight check. Whoa, it's Walter White. <laughs> What the have fuck? Seen, have you seen Jesse? We're I love that. Get some him. Meth. What the fuck? That is a, yeah. that is Walter White, just without the hat. It's time last chance to look at me, Harry. <laughs> Verlick and what the Dylan. Fuck? Okay. Um I know who you are. You're Heisenberg, aren't you? You're goddamn Co right. Say the line, damn it. Collectively, you both would um, be able to reach back into the, like, it's more of a, a facial recognition thing. He's not immediately recognizable, but, like, his face is familiar. And you've met him before. You know that much. And Why, we, we met Heisenberg before? Yeah, apparently. And your minds reflect back on your journey thus far, quickly, all the way back to the kingdom of Cistern, back to the place where you met the very first faithful, back to the place where this holy quest was forced upon you, the house of Hul. This is the man, by your best recollection, who first recognized you as the faithful few. This is Brother Moro, priest of the oh, bystander. no. Though he looks Wait, different what? than he looks than he looked before. The <clears throat> curious. Fuck? Dude. Um Okay. That's crazy. Hold these side by side. Nothing nothing against Whoa. Cistern, obviously. 
Right. Osiris. Nothing against Sister and Osiris. Okay. Just... Careful. Be careful. <laughs> careful. Careful. <laughs> um... Fuck. Fuck him for sending us on a quest that was complete bullshit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to begin with. He looks different than how you remember him, of course. Um, he doesn't have any markings of his god as he did before upon his skull. No traditional attire of his faith. It makes you wonder if who you see now has either abandoned the faith he once had How did they corrupt him or whether his faith I'm the worst was ever there <laughs> to begin with it's possible you think that we've been baited it could have been a facade all we've along. been catfished so we're not changeling you that have so come good. so very far. So wait, the Vidalkin and him are there. How blind your faith must be. But you are not alone, for we too are, and always have been, faithful. And so confused right yes. now. There is a Vidalkin and a bald man, Heisenberg, in this cavern with you. And I each, hate fate. Each I hate Each time Destiny. they speak, the it Vidalkin? seems as though there is there are more people lurking within the shadows. And at this point, I want everybody to know it's a cutscene. <laughs> what you are the... you going to say roll initiative? This is a. This Wait, is it's a, this guy. This is a narrative Wait. moment. Wait, it's Whoa. this fucker. We recognize him too. So it's, it's the, same, the guy. same guy, is what I'm oh. saying. Oh, it's what that he fuck? looks different Wait. than he did. Are there before. two of him, or no. is there it's one of him and he looks like the, Walton, the mall White, guy. Walter White versus He's Heisenberg just the guy guys. on the left. Yeah, Holy but that's shit. what he looked like when you first met him, Matt and Dalen. Like Walt. It was like a long time ago. <laughs> what happened here, Mark? It was Walt. It was like fucking it. two years ago. Out of the dark, like Walt. Um, Harry's been cooking. Oh yeah. No, I, this has been a long time coming. I'm out of the dark, Walter. After the bald man speaks this foreboding line about always having been faithful, a shadow emerges. From the eastern balcony. Uh, again, embering eyes glint at you oh from the God. darkness. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Greetings once more, first faithful. Oh my god. Oh, god. No, no. It's Darkling. <laughs> it's him. It's the guy. Will, it's the... It would appear you've recruited a sorry few new companions for your crusade. A shame... I'll kill you! ...that they must follow you to their graves. Out of game. It is the elf who claimed to be Consul Illin. And while his name yep. is known by the entire party by this point... Braylick, Braylick, this is your Daylen berserk moment. Know his face. Yes, they've conscripted a naive lot, haven't they? Wait. A broad-shouldered <laughs> man with gray skin. No, you're fucked, kid. I knew you're it. Fucked. I knew it. I knew it. Your people are <laughs> fucked. Your people it. are fucked. Did he kill? I did he kill the uh, leader yet? Did he kill you bastard. Did Ghana kill the leader? I knew this guy was fucked from the. Did from Ghana day kill one. the fucking leader of fuck fucking uh, the thing yet? A Goliath I man emerges from the northeastern passage, level with you all. Uh. Conic, Braylick, and especially Roland would recognize him as Captain Gonath. Soldiers, of course, but a poor draft, no doubt. 
hogs to the slaughter like every other idealist we faced. Gonath draws his hulking blade from his back with a slow Yes! Like a pr- <laughs> Can I go ahead? <laughs> my fault. You treated me like a prisoner in my own city. He gives I'll you have a- your head. He offers you a wink. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. There is an order okay. to this world. Who, who the fuck is this guy? A reality. Shay Mullins? That must <laughs> be accepted. A ragged voice echoing we down heard from the that? western balcony. We heard of this guy, or is he just, just brand new? He is standing behind the balustrading of the balcony above you all, and you do not recognize him. None of you do. Tattered hair falls over his pale, blotchy skin. His features are long dead, but his eyes are very clearly alive. To fight is to serve none but the dead. And we do not serve the dead. Is is this the the sense I got, Harry? The person I was getting the sense from? Yes. (laughs) No, wait a minute. Affirmative, Molka, I necromancer of forlorn. Oh no. No. What? This is Molka? He became a human? A pathetic human? It's somebody. Psyche was always a human. Oh no, this fucker is back. He's gonna kill us! Your decomposing organic shell has served its minimal purpose. Consider an inorganic material for your next vessel. Commander, you are a pussy. As a blue light illuminates from the balustrading of the western balcony, a light that is unfortunately recognized by both Braylick and Dalen. There is is a negotiator flies in fucking hacks. This there hunt. is there is no way we this win. This is the Warforged no, responsible Matt, for the kill death them of all. We are Matt, no. we are level the blue uh, 15. light. Each of us are as strong as a single one of them. This is an even 6v6, Matt. An even 6v6. This is, this is not true. Yeah, we to... fuck them. No, no, it's totally fine for them to keep going. <laughs> even 6v6. We do not serve. We do not bend. <laughs> We do not break. Monarch is no longer here to prevent your termination. Yeah, Ultron's tweaking. (laughs) Wasn't Negotiator basically Ultron? Yeah, but he's better. Fair enough. Fuck this loser. I'm tired of these rulers pretending they know what's best for us. Good no. Yes. Fuck you. Yes. Fuck you. Did you like the, yes. Did you like the meme cannon? Oh my god. Yeah, I did. Well, how? Yes! How, how is yes! he back? How and is this lord standing no. before us now? They represent them. Right, They've no even one, brought a harbinger with them, Papayon. No, no, no one touched him. I kicked his ass before. Whoa. Just let me at him. Wait, which retard is this? This is from the fucking. Uh, Half. What's it called? This is this is the half orc battle, remember? Half like, of the party the would unfortunately recognize this half orc as Chief Doramar, the renegade yeah, half orc who guy. took control of the Safeguard Heritage border, the one I that you fucking ass. Yeah, fuck remember guy. killing. Uh, though you would also remember that he's been killed before, uh, and it Wait, seems like this guy is having a hard time staying dead. No, he, so he wasn't mm-hmm. the one in the camp. We traveled from the camp to the. Like fortress, okay. And he was leading the fortress there. <laughs> Didn't we kill everyone uh, in the fortress? Uh, yes. You did. I yeah. don't know any of you people. <laughs> Didn't, I dis- <laughs> Didn't I disintegrate the one of the retards <laughs> in the fortress? I, that was him. We disintegrated. No, 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 I disintegrated the other guy. I think. Oh, his son. That. Oh, his son. We dis- disintegrated. So we never his fought son. this guy then. No, we fought this guy, and I just killed him straight up. But his. But you son didn't get rid of his corpse, huh? Okay, well, 
No one thought about it at the time, I guess. <laughs> Neither did you, Jack. Yeah. They're meddling with the way things ought to be. The natural order, one might call it. Time for a return to form, I say. <laughs> I am glad to have made the acquaintance of such eloquent allies. This is... Yep. We're As you hear... It was about fucking time we met the king of the furries. The telltale the accent of a tabaxi. Is this, is this Nine Tails? This is and Nine you, Tails. You see it. <laughs> Fur as black as night. He wears a purple trim <laughs> suede coat and holds Jack, a we're not, regal we're cane. Not surviving this. We are. Why your coffin so pissed? And his golden claws are glinting in the low light, and his emerald eyes are watching you. A good hunter is patient, you see. He waits <laughs> for his prey to come to him. The prey does not even know. It is being hunted until uh, it, it steps oh. right oh, song. into his trap. Oh, song, your fortune telling sucks. That is when he bounces. <laughs> it's all relative. It's perspective. This is in a well. This is the woest of woes. The ancestors think that fighting is good. Therefore, they sent us into a good fight. The ancestors. No, no, sent this us is this is guys. I I understand. This is all an illusion. This is in our head. This isn't real. This is not real. I'm, every single time Harry goes through a character, I'm hoping that that Prince it ends, shows up. and I'm hoping that if a certain character shows up, I'll lose my shit. And it'll be so quick. You see, you find yourselves oh. at oh the end God. of a timeline of my design. Our creation at this point for you death is inevitable it has been foretold oh my god i knew we came to the right back alley country <laughs> to reject your end is without purpose accept your death with courage and your name shall be martyred among the faithful many of past. I ain't going out like some bitch. For <laughs> right, we... You can't kill yourself this session. And last session. <laughs> Shut up. Mean... He's made this point. <laughs> no, no. I Will has a point. I ain't go... Braylick's not going out like a pussy. I didn't give a shit if Nikolai blew himself up, dude. <laughs> For... We are fate. And now, you shall die. All right, boys, roll initiative. Oh, my oh thank God. God. It's We're over. throwing you into a, uh, I'm throwing you into a new map. Activate. I have, hold on. I, I fucking or organized into a fucking mosaic on my screen. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was, I was so sitting there shit bricks. I was like, I was like, if Prince Anodine showed up, I would have lost my shit. I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have. Wait, redact it. Please, please have Prince no. Anodine show up. No. Please. I was please. The whole time I was like, I'm fine as long as Anodine, if Anodine shows up, I would have lost it. I, I don't know what I, he I, I can't know how I feel. My character every, killed himself. I don't know. <laughs> you, know what this, you know what this? You know what this is too? This is literally every. This is a person from each and every nation as well. Yeah. Uh, except it's, for. It's the spider man. Yeah. Right? yeah the, the, the only, yeah, actually, yeah. Every, memes, we'll look at memes. Yeah, no, it's a, it's no David's thing. Uh oh, this uh -oh. is an even six v seven, guys. We are, <laughs> we are one hundred sixteen percent as strong as we are. So it's even. Oh, we're cooked. <laughs> Cannon with your fucking mosaic, bro. That's hilarious. It's literally the, it's the Spider Man meme. Anal, <laughs> anal crime speed. <laughs> Wait. 
<laughs> what am I missing? That's what am I missing? Look at me. Oh, David. Oh, David. Go up above your oh, main cannon. Dude. <laughs> so Hilarious. The Uno one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I I'm glad that. Jack's happy. I love that. All right, <laughs> it's just so I'm gonna perfect. start a combat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Yeah, oh, negotiator was here. Tyrant, you're so fucking guys, corrupted. Guys, guys, the treasure chest. All oh, right, initiative. David, there's yeah, treasure. If you kill them all, you get more treasure. Wait a minute. I let us in, and now I'm in front. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Roland. That's why it mattered. Wow, Wait, Cannon, talks. now you can charge at Goneth and kill him. Yep. Listen, I can't ask you guys Ooh. your marching order every time, because then you'll know. He's... He, Mans is within, within fuck range. This guy over here, he's within my fucking movement speed. I'm going to go over and kill him. So, for everyone so to know, uh, these, um... Walls, these balcony walls you see are 40 feet high, so you'll have to climb to get there. If you are trying to do that, you'll have to make athletics checks, or you can try to teleport. It does not it appear as though there are staircases, but there are. There are rocks. No, I'm not. I just rip it off the internet. Okay. Um, <laughs> nice. Hey, shout out uh, Patreon, hey, Dr. Mapso. Dr. Mapso's got some cracked maps. Oh, I've wow. actually used them before. Yo, chat, check out uh, Dr. Mapso. Say the music's loud. Support the official very release. Loud. Here, yeah, yo, chat, support the you official release. You can turn release. it down, too, on your end, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. All right, Okay, guys. load initiative, so I'm going to go piss. So, we need to kill Tyrant so he doesn't insta-kill. All right, David. Yeah? We have to kill Tyrant, because he has this ability where if he hits five stacks, he, he kills you immediately. But I want to kill Mulka. But I understand. We can so kill I will, him next. I will cooperate. We need to kill Tyrant. Actually, yeah. Hold up. Think about it like Bro, this. Like, you should tell it. Tell the group. Wait, guys. Oh no, no, I'll just say. I recall, Frank. Like, this <laughs> machine. He's the one who instantly vaporized your bird brain friend. Him first. Him first. He says. Anik, could you teleport me there, please, when you can? Um. Your initiative might be before mine. I think you need to just run and leap onto him, bro. Fair enough. I'll do. Don't what you? I can. Uh, oh wait, you don't have the fucking jump skill that uh. No, that I don't. The Roman had. I already forgot I his have, name. I have no Chrysau abilities. Yeah, Chrysau jump. So, I forgot. You're playing yourself. You're no longer a white man. Braylick, exactly. you are first in <laughs> yeah. initiative. That's so weird actually <laughs> yeah you rage have, you have a 24 don't forget the rage Matt. the next highest initiative is 14. <laughs> all right matt here's where you don't forget to rage like you do what sometimes the fuck? okay yeah i'm immediately raging yep uh it's gonna proc the <clears throat> wild surge just give me a second i get two does braylick get... roar when he rages out of curiosity yeah, and because he's half he because he's cyborg now, it comes out like <laughs> oh, like a mechanical scream. Damn, comes out with auto now. That's fucking sick. <laughs> he's Robocroc. Your um, your Rocky roar Rock. echoes throughout the cavern as uh, you take your turn. Give me a second. I believe I believe there's an ability. Um. Oh, that's right. Here it is. Uh. Okay, yeah, I get to roll twice, and then, oh, that's even better. I get to choose now. I get to choose an ability on the, uh... On the Wild Magic Search table? On the Wild Magic Search table. <laughs> so which do you choose? I'm going to choose the plus one to <clears throat> my AC. Okay. Ooh, playing it safe. I like it. Oh shit! My Going into this fight, I I will say it's I I I anticipate it will be difficult, but you know who knows. <laughs> Five seems pretty good, and that's why Konic and Nikolai will fly in. <laughs> I'm someone else take control of Nikolai if he actually if, if Nikolai comes in, someone else take control of him, please. <laughs> I think he's gone. I'm here. I'm here. The hero, he's back. Hero <laughs> Cannon Clausen, he's returned. Where's, where's the second character sheet? Yeah. So Braylick, like, where do you if, move? If he up. Um. Okay, I'm going to. 
okay. Um, if I if I dash, will that also improve my speed to climb as well, DM? I think uh, at this level, climbing can just be half your movement speed, so or like double your movement. So. Okay, um, I I will I will then just da I'll, I'll dash. Okay. So five. 10, 15, 20, 25. Am I climbing now, technically? Yeah. Uh, no, only once you get to the wall. Okay, so wait, 5, 10, 15, You can 10, run on the rocks, yeah. 30, 30, so. So if it's a. So I am I got 30 to the wall, and then I move five feet up, which is 10. Well, say you're at the, uh, the edge of the uh, top of the wall. Okay. At the end of your uh, climb, so I'll move yeah. You. My my total my total movement is eight, is eighty feet with the dash. Eighty feet with dash. Okay. Yeah. I'd say you're able to make it. Well, okay. you have forty five feet of movement, don't you? Wouldn't it be ninety? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, ninety. Yeah. Yeah. You Do definitely you think we're gonna finish this tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just checking. Um, I, would you say I made it to the top of the wall, or I'm on the edge? <laughs> um. You're like on the edge, um, about to pull yourself up. Yeah. Um. All right. Is Dylan's turn. On the eastern balcony. Um. Ilan readies his uh. The the magic within his hands. Um. Let's see here. Oh, damn, this would have been smart. Oh, okay, you know, whatever. He is going to see Braylick make a dash for Tyrant. How far does this go? 60 feet. Ooh, distances are going to matter a lot, I think, in this combat. Yeah, he's not far enough to, or you're too far for him to get you. So, um, he will instead, on Roland, he's going to attempt to... Uh, cast hold person on you. Could you make me a constitution save, I believe? Who? Wisdom save. Uh, Roland. I guess. Why are my rolls so bad all the time, <laughs> man? Hey, I don't know, man. But you are paralyzed. What? Someone on paralyzed right? What matters uh, is you die. Doramar's God, turn. You chat, Ill. should we unparalyze him? To chat. <laughs> chat. <laughs> yes, yes, unparalyze him. Let the war wage on! Fight! As he runs out of the uh, back hallway. So it's great, really right? These people are really um, funny because it's like some of them just. The vibe is so different. It's, <laughs> yeah. like, it's like you get your screaming guy, your monologue guys, and then your guys who are just like, yeah. yeah. So I need to know how some of these guys like, even made it it's here. It's honestly by perfect because this is really just our group. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same as our group. No synergy. Just like, how did these fuckers make it here? It's a great question to ask. Do I do I still need to go after the robot, or should I help Roland? Yeah, I mean the flight, the fight uh, climate is going to change drastically turn by turn. Doramar has access to two um, uh, double axe attacks, so he is going to make two of them on you, Cannon. However, they are auto crits, being that you are paralyzed. Oh, okay. Um, if they hit, right? Wait, oh, does he have advantage? Yes. Yes. Um, is it control? I think it's control. It's either control oh, that or was all. disadvantage. It's the higher one. Nineteen wouldn't hit either. The oh. really? Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. All right. I have a twenty-one. Uh, all right, let's try this one then. So. All right, so that oh, one on. will be max damage. Have to double check. So add another twenty damage to that. <clears throat> Okay, hold on, hold on. 
but what okay. if? Um, how does this work? So, <laughs> basic. Um, what well, your because the 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 text is interesting there. The wearer can use your react their reaction, which yeah, so I, I don't think you can reaction. take them if you're paralyzed. Oh, maybe you're right. Um. Uh, I don't I don't think that you can. Wait, can I, what's your AC? Twenty one. Use, so uh, if anyone has any reducers. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm not raging yet, Cannon. I'm Here's sorry, nice. buddy. Uh, yeah. Can I miss say that you paralyzed. can't use that currently while paralyzed? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, because when you're paralyzed, you're incapacitated. When you're incapacitated, you cannot take reaction. Yeah. So, yes. Go ahead and add an extra 20 to that. As he can I, can I do this in reaction? Oh. Whoa. When a creature you see within thirty feet makes an attack. One hemocraft die. Subtract the number Oh yeah. What's your hemocraft? That's insane, like you're crazy. I'm just trying to see. I, I forget if it was a D six or a D eight. I think it must be a D8. Probably a D eight. <laughs> I, I no yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, as long yeah. as you roll pretty beats, it'll force it this. You just have to roll I'm, a Two or higher, or a three or higher. For the record, I'm not worried about getting bogged down in the particulars of this combat. Any resources you guys have, uh, I suggest using them. Yeah. So six is subtracted from his attack roll. Is what that means. Damn. Very clear. So that would miss. Yes. Gonna oh, fix yeah. that health bar real so quick. So you're good then. God, you're crazy, Mike. Holy shit. <laughs> so that's uh, Doromar's turn. Uh, Moro's turn up in the the top uh, center balustrading. He Dude, will... that light on him? Crazy. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it is. Um, he will... Um, where's that ability? He says, uh, you will be, you will be buried beneath the sands as he casts. Oh, he's going to use a fucking sand ability. Hallucinatory terrain. <clears throat> Gosh. Whoa. What the? Um, he's going to turn all of the snow within this cavern into sand. An um, illusion. And that is, uh. Primarily his turn? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, he will say... <laughs> Music's all over the place, too. It's crunchy <laughs> right now. Stand together, traitors of Ivos! We will not... SURRENDER! They call themselves know. the traitors? <laughs> and, uh... Traitors of Ivos. He has a rallying leader feature. Um... The unfaithful many. Those who can see... <laughs> uh, Moro. It should specify on the ability, but I forgot to. Those who can see Brother Moro, um... Like, in their sightline, uh... They have uh, advantage on their uh, attacks. Dalen. Tonic, hit him with your favorite spell. Your turn. Can we? So with wait, hold on. With uh, hallucinatory terrain, do we get a? Do we save against that, or what's going on with this? 
Um. Da -da 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 -da. Spell save or intelligence check investigation. It's if you want to see through the uh, illusion. Which... Do we have to use an action to do that, or does that just? Um. E yes. Okay. Or to, dis to right disbelieve it's it. Like... It's just sand, yeah. <clears throat> so much going on already. <laughs> My turn. I will hit that guy. Whoa. Sonic's still covered in blood, right? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Tonic both. Ooh. You're shooting at nine lives? Yeah. Okay, let's go. And how far away is this guy? Like, uh, are we just saying 40, or is it more like 60 or something? Uh, I don't want to duplicate the Agrian theorem right now, bro. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll say you're in range. Well, like, what's the, uh, is it, are we saying 40? Oh, in terms of how far he is? Um, yeah. I oh, think he's there. like 60, 70 feet away. Okay. With the wall Just, height. Uh, we'll move like... And that's my turn. And as your uh, bolt finds place through the rails of the balustrading into the black fur of Nine Lives, crime boss of the Black Paw Trading Company. Uh. Greater I shall strip your skin of gold as a recompense for the death of my nephews! And, uh, Conic? This, dude, this dude's great. Yeah. yeah? Your turn. Alright. <clears throat> we gotta take out Tyrant first, so... <laughs> let's see. You're on your own, Roland. Well, first, I will float... I will fly up into the air, because I have the Everburn Pearl, so I have a flight speed, because I'm based. <clears throat> and, <laughs> and... Let's see, what would be good against this guy? I don't remember what his weakness was. If he did have the same monk traits as those other assholes, because we never really targeted Tyrant, you know what I mean? Like, we just kind of fought the other guys. But maybe in an attempt to help you, Matt, I'm going to throw my classic <laughs> my classic spell out. And, uh... Blindness Deafness. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. And hopefully if this hits, it'll give you an uh, advantage to fuck him up. If it doesn't, tough. It's a con save. Oh, it's, that's not good. But he's a oh. robot. Who knows? Might not have great con. Harold? Yes. You want to make a con save? Yeah, he has the to robot. make a con save. Okay. The robot. Will we get a Maharaga appearance this, this combat, Jack? Maharaga? <laughs> this guy rolled a 19? Fuck him. Okay, well... Dude, my, my spell save DC is so high. It's a 19. All right, I'll fly forward, though. Um, so I'm... I flew 35 feet. And let's see. Am I in range to do this? So that was uh, a blindness, deafness, and Tyrant just kind of is able... The blue light of his eye beam shoots through um, whatever magical uh ailment you right. imposed upon him he all right he needs to make a deck i'm gonna use the amulet of dragon have him make a deck save okay and i'm using a uh a, we'll do a lightning attack okay where are you oh you're in the snow i mean it's so hard to see i don't know I, I, I flied up i have the everburn oh pool, so i'm flying how high uh, whatever the Pythagorean theorem for the di <laughs> fucking <laughs> diagonal. I flew diagonal 35 feet. What are, you know? Oh, okay. So, so, you have to do some... So, probably, like, I don't know, like, 27 or something. 27. Is yeah, how far away you are. Okay. I'm... <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Um... Have him make the deck save. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, he's going to take a full 2d6. Holy shit. Nice. All right, he takes seven 
lightning damage. Lightning, huh? Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's my turn. Alright. You had a plus five on the con save. Note to self. No more con saves on Tyrant. <laughs> Upon the return of our ancestors, I, Tyrant, shall reclaim the throne of Sanctum and incur the second calamity of the Dwarven Genocide! This guy's gonna needs... take a chill pill. This guy <laughs> needs some... <laughs> anyway, it's, it's your turn, Roland. Therapy. Very good. Am I paralyzed still? Yeah, make a <laughs> uh, wisdom save, I think. Or let me check. I think it's just hey, the same save wisdom. over and over. Ooh, nice. that's a success. You are now out of it at the end of your turn. <clears throat> Um. Okay, nine lives. Action His sticker. turn. <laughs> no, no, no. You're stuck. Hang on. Uh, but it was my turn, Harry. All right. Um. In response to your shooting of him, uh, Dalen, nine lives is uh going to kind of bare his fangs and uh <laughs> I don't know <laughs> these cats got guns <laughs> and he's going to start shooting you with actual fire turn into twitch <laughs> what a stupid yeah <laughs> what a stupid cat fuck Oh, he should have advantage with uh, Brother Moro's things, so... He just uh, mf ulted you. Why does Urjoto and the other loser work for this guy? Like, he's trying to destroy the world. Why would they even work for him? Why would they even work Holy for this? Holy shit. Oh, shit. Dalen. Oh, no. It was, a nat it was a 19. Yeah. Do you have any reroll Holy abilities? Holy shit. I have some reaction. <laughs> he just got fucked. Maybe just the crit, man. You have some way to no, counter that. I mean, I have like the shield, but it's just plus five. I well, shield? Like... What's your AC? Yeah, it's only 18. So. Uh, yeah, I would, it would block, block the level. last attack and the first. Oh, the first attack. Would it block the last one? one? So it only block 23 damage. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it put you at 20. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yikers. Don't worry. Um, Nine Lives is going to jump down. If only we had a dedicated healer. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. He is going to jump on top of the balustrading <laughs> and he's going to nimbly kind of... Uh, jump jump down the rocks uh toward you and he's gonna get right up in your face and he's going to uh pull out his cane it seems like he's going he intends to use it uh on the next turn okay. mulka his turn um let's see here Um, so Roland is with Dormar, Braylick is with Tyrant, Mulka is going to see Braylick going toward Tyrant, and what's he going to do? He is going to, hmm, not the best person to try to fuck with Braylick is, he's got a lot of constitution, hmm. He is going to... <laughs> Man, this is kind of funny, actually. He's going to cast... Bane. Oh, Bane so Pog? Somewhere a wad just woke up in his bed. <laughs> Bane Pog? Sneezed. Remember when I used um, to cast Bane in that campaign? No. And he's going to move to make it uh, hit more than just Braylick. 
What does it do? Makes a D. It makes it so you have to subtract a D four away from. Uh, it does nothing, man. <laughs> you wasted your energy. attacks. <laughs> um, My attacks. Thirty-five. Yeah. No dice. Not gonna get him. How for how long? Until we break his concentration. Yes. Uh, yes. Bane. And you have a minus three from your raised dead as well, currently. Just thought I'd bring I'm that up again. Bane the whole world up. Um, Connick, can you also make a, uh, 28, or a charisma save? A charisma save? Yeah. Okay. This is an 18, though, correct? Yeah, that's a save. Fuck. So you are also banned. Ah, irrelevant. I'll label you guys. Okay. Um. And that will be his turn. Gonath. He's going to step, step, step out of this, um... I guess he's going to have to dash to get close to anyone. Yeah. Roland, as you come out of your, uh, your haze, you see, oh. uh, Ganath coming, stepping, step, stepping directly toward you. Right. I'll be sure to give you a soldier's death, Roland. I still have locked up. Yeah. <laughs> Osiris, you're up. As just chaos is erupting all around you. One on one. I have, one -on I have no bias orders. against any of these people. No, so. you don't. You have no idea who anyone is here. Who are you people? My <laughs> bias is honestly towards the robot guy because he annoys me the most. Right. But That's, that annoys really... Will the most. Not yeah, a, annoys not... me out of game the most. Is it but the I voice? Can't... No, I just, his, he doesn't take a chill pill. This yeah, guy, he does. Can, he's wound. Uh, but I can't really get to him. I don't really have a way to get up anywhere. You can always support your good friend, Dalen. Yeah, good I'm going to go. Dalen's getting pinched by honestly, the cat. I think I've talked to Dalen the least. I barely even know this guy's in the party. <laughs> but I'll, I will. Hey, in a combat situation, him. your allies are your allies. Yep. Uh, so I will. I will. I don't know what I do here. Let's just hit this. I'll hit him twice. And then if I could okay, there we go. Woo! And then, and then second attack. Very nice. And then I'm going to bonus action. Uh Oh, I don't have it. Oh, because I'm not a cleric. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. I was going to heal you, but I can't. You're swinging. you're like some weird hodgepodge subclass. We're a home. Yeah. You're a homebrew. Uh, I do. Can his healing uh, hands or whatever the fuck it's called? Lay on hands. Oh, just action. Lay on hands. No, it's an action. It's an action. Yeah. I can find where it was. Okay, then I will. I'm gonna bonus action. Try to compel duel this guy. <laughs> nah. Oh, oh shit! Failed. Wait, that's actually yeah. crazy though. If that works, it actually it failed. Failed, baby. Wow. Okay, so uh, that's absurd. I don't know what I'll mark him with. Maybe uh, cursed. Now he's drawn to me. All right, Mike, you can get out. Yeah, Mike, you can run away, which is good. What's his disadvantage on attack? Yeah. Yeah. Which is cancelled currently by Brother Moro's passive of advantage. Yep. Um, but that's I'll, good. Uh, it's removed the advantage from his attacks. Yeah, so I'll, I'll pass on that. Okay. Oman's turn. <clears throat> um... Cannon, you can hold the front line on your own, right, buddy? Uh, maybe two dudes. I can handle two dudes. 
<laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. This is my boy. This is my boy. Dude. <laughs> You'll be fine. There's your next buddy. short, Harry. Can yeah, <laughs> Cannon, um, <laughs> as you are about to be handled by two dudes, you note the third dude standing before the basin in front of you. His eyes are staring deep into uh, your soul, like as if waiting for you to make eye contact with him. And as you glance to him, you find uh, yourself entranced no, by his, uh, his gaze. And he seems to impart upon you a very important message. No. Your death shall be quick. It will befall <laughs> you in 12 seconds. Oh, in two turns. You're what? dead. You would what? perish, song, bro. <laughs> he gave me the time. He gave me the day. He gave me everything. What are you doing? You're about? fucking dead. Fuck you. <laughs> Roland pulls up his phone and there's a new reminder. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Check his calendar. Fucking Google calendar. Yeah. It's your calendar. You're dead. What You're the dead. fuck? Roland. He is going what to cast sick? on himself yeah. Crown of Stars. <laughs> Whatever that oh, means. Oh, Roland, you're fucked. Oh. He has so much DPS him. now, Roland. You are fucked. Hang on. Okay, uh, four seven star-like wells on a hit, target takes 40 And he can shoot a bunch of these at you. On his bonus action, he sends one. Yeah, I know, but over the course of a few turns, he's gonna send a bunch at you. So he's gonna send one at you I this mean, turn. Yeah, because it's a pretty bonus action. Yeah, well, I'd like to see him try. Okay. That is exactly what he will yep. do, in fact. Uh, well, it implodes it, in his face. Oh, it should have advantage, so I'm gonna roll again. Okay. Oh, it's just hitting him. <laughs> You're doing totally thing. Okay, hang on. It's okay, that would have hit me. That would have hit me. You Why did I do all him. of his HP? What happened? Okay. Um, it imploded in space. Because yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got okay. this in, the, in front of him. Clearly, he hit that, not me. He, he's standing over it. Um, okay, so now he has disadvantage. Uh, uh, well, he just... Uh, he makes... If one more roll, and I oh, choose yeah. whether he uses his okay, old sure, roll yeah. from the advantage or the new roll. Let's do it. Why does it keep hitting him, bro? <laughs> I choose the second roll. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they are, uh, just, he shoots just one, and, um, it misses on this turn. Um, I'm gonna use these colors as the modes of stars <laughs> that are on him currently. So he just used his seventh moat. He's going down the docket now. All right. Um, and he's going to move this way into the uh, northwestern corner. Um, a song. Your turn, brother. Jack, I think I need to help Cannon. Okay. Realistically, or else we're going to come. Okay, me and Matt will kill Tyrant. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. David doesn't know, Jack. Yet. David, David doesn't I have know. Full health. You're fine, Cannon? You, you're good? I I mean, depends on who you're trying to attack. Like, Do you I want my aid or if you see... help of others? I think everyone else is paired. We, I think we do a good pair. Um, But I don't think you need to do it just because I need like help, if that makes sense. <clears throat> right, but I feel like in one turn you're going to get swarmed. All right, yeah, come over here. All right, here we go. Tactically, it's good. And then I'm going to do this. So that's Whoa. half of 45. Do I round down? Uh, For the instinct of... Or do oh. I get to round up and take 25? You can... Part of the bonus action. Sorry, what's your question? You can move 25 feet. Oh, yeah, so feet. look at what I put in chat. Oh, 20. Right. Instinctive leap counts. Yeah. Up to half your speed. So I'll round to 20. Yeah, you have, 40. To 20 you 20. have 40 movement. Don't you? He's 45. 45 base. Oh, it says you have so 40. He's but, so that. Is, is that move? I mean, either way, if you're going back. for Dora, Mar, 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit there. the squishy. Or is he? <laughs> it looks okay. like he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not I see the small mage. I moke. Yes, and uh, no. concentration, Matt. I'll I'll flank around and then I'll I'll help you out after I kill the squishy. What in concentration? Oh, Chronostar <laughs> isn't a uh, concentration. It's a spe it's a class ability, isn't it? Chronostar. No, it's concentration. It's concentration. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Er, uh, it's not concentration, but it is a spell. Really? It, okay. it does not yeah. have the constant. Let me let me double check though, because that's an imported uh spell. Yeah. I have to double check. That's an important distinction too. It is. It is not concentration. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Right. That is interesting. Yeah, whatever. I still want to hit him. <laughs> okay, go for it. Um, I would say you could make it to him with your rage. Yeah. Come here, sunshine. All right. He's probably going to uh, shield. <laughs> we will see. It will not matter. So I'm gonna reckless as well. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, he'll shield uh, in the second too. I mean, he'd shield at the, at the moment of you running at him, but the second two attacks, he'd gain back 44 HP. Okay. And uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Oh wait, I hit him once, right? You did, with a crit, yeah. Could you please send him diagonally up left? <laughs> sure. Five feet, five feet, no, it's just like here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll do. Um, Thank you. All right, I'm satisfied. The echoing boom of his voice uh, has faded away. As he, uh, as he looks at you with like a maniacal smile, face lit up by the excitement of this battle. <laughs> that one was foretold. Right. I'm going to turn you into a belt. <laughs> Tyrant's turn. Um, as. He will be watching Braylick climb up to uh, fuck him up, for lack of a better term. And he uh, trains his uh, hand cannon on you uh, and, like, the laser that you remember seeing in the very first... Um, uh, the blue laser tracks you as you... Uh, it's back! <clears throat> Analyzing movement pattern, establishing linear connection. Um, and he's going to use target acquisition. And he's also going to, uh, as you are reaching the top of this uh, balcony, he will uh, gesture at you with his hand and his eyeball will begin strobing as he uses a uh, command on you or tries to. Could you make me a wisdom saving throw? He's going to say, <laughs> drop whatever it's holding. I'm gonna say you're on the balcony, so it's like, you're not gonna, okay. Um, Um, that is tough. He's oh, going man. to use uh, retreat on you. So you could run north, really? Or, uh, no, I don't think actually he would. He's just going to use. <laughs> Wait, this is exactly what was happening in the in the last time you saw commander okay wait yeah neil and die 
die as you should have. Uh, he'll use drop. Er, sorry, grovel. <laughs> they all sound the same. So you will be uh, prone on the edge of this balcony. And then he gets right back up. He uses half his movement, yep. Um, That's not what it says. What do you mean? It says the target falls prone and then ends its turn. Ah. Yes. Oh. You sk it skips your turn, I guess. Yep, that makes sense. Oh. What? Um, and it, he good. just has it trained on you down into the floor. Oh, because um, Matt's going to have to follow it on his next turn, I see. Uh-oh. Illin's turn. Um, he is going to cast... He's going to... Uh, yeah, on Roland, he's going to cast... Uh, Guiding Bolt at a second level. Faithful few to be made faithful fewer! Yeah! And he misses. <laughs> oh wait. It's advantage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Amal, 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 he tries again. Okay. That one Hold hits on. unless you're <laughs> you're trying to make it miss. <laughs> <laughs> I just need an old deck. Uh Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say there's, like, a usage on this thing or whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Busted-ass magic what, item. <laughs> on the fucking uh, gold yeah. fang? <laughs> well, if, and if, if if there is a usage that I don't know about, don't worry, I have Omaha's right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Busted-ass magic item. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're supposed to be once per uses, Ganon. Um, but you can use the paw, for sure. Hmm. I would not give you infinite disadvantage as an item. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> but you did that to us. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm Anyways. Kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, because I, I really could. Want to... No, I'm not going to use it. That's, That's fine. You're not going to use it on that? No. Okay. You take the 20 radiant, and the next attack against you is advantage, which it already did before. Um, Damn you, Harry. My or a Mars magic turn. Um, you don't know what I sacrifice. I can't wait to take my first real turn. <laughs> Roland of Safeguard, you are weak and pathetic. Me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, advantage. And I'm sorry, Cannon. He just called advantage. you weak and pathetic. That is his turn. Do you do anything? Oh, he's fucking at his friends. <laughs> do you do anything to stop these attacks, or you take them? Oh, never mind. All right, I'm just gonna move to Moro. Moro. is going to um cast. What is known in this world as the Hand of Hool. And he's going to put it on Basong. Cannon does not lose that HP. Okay, I gave it back to What's you. That cool. Um, it is Big B's magic hand. Oh. Whoa. For all intents and purposes. Okay. Um, 25. He would do 25 force damage to you, Basong. Do you just take it? Uh, I'm gonna reduce it, actually. Okay. How much? By 46. 
Okay. You wanna play this game, bro? We can hit each other by proxy all day. <laughs> um, the, uh... <laughs> David's ace, David's ace, David's so, ace. So, you would, uh, take only 14. Yeah. And um, he takes 11. And he takes 11, okay. <laughs> we Three. can play this game all, all day. day. Um, from the sand around you uh, coalesces a massive hand as it comes out of the ground. Um, and uh, kind of smacks you as it does. Um, I kind of just shoo it away while I'm busy. I'm occupied. When you cast a spell, and as a bonus action, you can move the hand up to 60 feet and cause one of the following effects. So it can do clenched fist, forceful hand, grasping hand, interposing hand. It's not going to do any of those now, it's just going to punch you. Um, next turn, we will see. This one does require concentration, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, hand of hool is concentration. Um, he is going to step to the far side of the, uh, the combat. Away from you, at least. Um, Dalen, it is your turn. Okay. Is this guy has just normal attacks? Yes. You will pay for what you've done! Which, obviously, you didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just move away. Okay. He'll make an attack on you with his cane. Okay. Miss. He misses. We good. Thank God. Okay. Can how long are you paralyzed for? He's, He's already one. Anymore. Oh, I should oh, take okay. that off. Okay. I took a lot of damage though. Okay. Uh... I took a lot more than twenty from that one radiant thing. What, what, what did I miss? Uh, oh. I just got hit by the hand of Huel. No, I gave you back that HP. It was from Doramar that you got smacked. Oh, Doramar and, and Dylan have hit you. Yeah, twenty-four, thirteen, and twenty. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, let's keep hitting this guy. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to ask if you'd do anything to reduce that at all, Cannon. I don't have anything okay, to reduce it, I don't think. Like, I could I could block it. Well, I could block one of them, theoretically. I see. Alright, that's my turn. Um, Alright, Conic's turn. Alright, it's time for Draconic. We're gonna cast it. We're gonna cast a draconic form, or whatever the spell is called. Oh shit! Draconic transformation, cast spell, and as Jack here apparates into draconic. And uh, let's see. Boom. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and Whoa. let's. He's... Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> do you, uh, Matt? Do you mind taking damage or no? I don't mind. Half if I can hit maybe. Mulka and Tyrant at the same... You don't mind? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to throw the Force Ball. By the way, I shouldn't have to... I don't know why that targets me and makes me take damage for that. Um, I'm going to throw the Force Ball on top of uh, these two, Mulka and... Um, here. Cool. This is a... Oh, wait. It's a 60-foot cone. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, Jack, we actually have a, uh, token Yeah, we have an art for this, yes. So yes, I'm gonna yes. put it down. Me... Yes. I'm gonna do the shifting now. 27. I'm gonna make him 129. I'm gonna move my guy this way so I can hit them with the cone. And measure cone. All right. Cool. All right, so everyone in that cone, so Matt and Holy the other individuals, 
have to do the deck save. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. The DC 19. Okay. I guess I'll roll. Um, let's see. Deck save. Tyrant. Wilka. And Braylick. And Braylick. <laughs> you wanna roll for that, Braylick? Yeah. Fair. What kind of save it? Is, is this a. Dex. Save. Oh. Hold on, this actually might work. Yeah, and this. Nope. Um. Did not work no, out. No, no, hold you. on, hold on. Hold on. The power. Bane still, so. I have advantage because of danger. Huge. Doesn't, uh, it does not pass. Yeah. All right, they all take 19 force damage. Um, okay. Well, why is Wilcom making a con? Oh, that's for his uh, spell, right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, him. Anyways, um, they all take 19 force, and then I will also <clears throat> use an action, since this was a bonus action, and even the attack part is, to... Oh, rock, oh, oh, rock. <laughs> yeah, I'll be summoning a dude. Oh, Thank you, God. David. I'll be summoning a dude. Uh, Jesus Christ! Over oh, here God. by Doramar. Maharaga. And it's gonna be the level four dude. Uh, and I'm instantly yeah, I'm not gonna concentrate on that for obvious reasons. Let's see, where is the? It's in the demons. Uh, the Balraga. Oh no, the Tanaruk, actually. We'll do the... You have potential. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, that would be cheating. Yeah. That's two spells in a turn. I cannot do that. That is that is cheating in D&D. Wait, 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 are you actually searching for it? No, 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 you no. Can't no. Do that, that would anyway. be cheating. I cannot do that. I cannot the do that. The only rule that against casting two spells in a turn, Jack, is you can't... No, these are two leveled... Action. These are two leveled spells, and this would yeah, be a bonus how... action and an action. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that that is cheating. I cannot do that. Sorry, guys. I let that, that David's hype. I was like, yeah, you know what? That would be a good idea. Oops, my bad. What was the bonus um, action spell? It's good, man. Uh, Draconic form is a bonus action, and it does the attack during the bonus action that you cast it. So it's a very Holy efficient shit, spell. That's a very yeah. efficient spell. Uh, I'll just use Circlet of Blasting then on a Tyrant. Um, okay, that also made me take damage for a reason. Tyrant <laughs> needs does a twenty nine hit Tyrant. Yes. Okay, he takes six damage. Draconic is right, a cool. good pun, Jack. 10 out of 10. Yep, Draconic. <laughs> okay. Alright, Zaste. And that's your turn. Yeah, oh, actually, oh, he should take more than... From... Scorching Ray is 66, is it? Or not 66, it's... Wait, how's the... how Scorching Ray cannon? Isn't it multiple? It's not... It's three beams. Oh, I have to make three attack rolls against him. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on. Let me... Do two more. Pew. Hold on, I gotta regen the ability here. Two yeah. more. Use. Boom. And then regen it one more time. You can and... try and break more cards constantly. Boom. This is good to do it still, though. I like this. Okay. So five and six. Yep, and then I'll fly another 30 in the air since I have 60 feet of flight now. Or five and nine, I should say. Yep. So... Raise me up to 57 feet, Harry. Okay. Holy crap. Doesn't the Draconic Transformation give you, like, a way faster flight speed? Yeah, 60. Yeah. Nice. But I want to keep it within, like, a certain range. That way I can So we're gonna, we're going to tap the ceiling at, um, 100 feet. Just so this doesn't Sounds get out of Sounds good. Hand. It's getting out of hand. Me when uh, I'm stuck on the ground. Roland, your turn. You just got molly okay. by Doramar. Yeah, and his friends. And Ilan. Uh, so, I should say in this moment as well, uh -huh. um, as as a as a hint for the players, there are enemies that are a lot stronger, and there are enemies that are a lot weaker in this combat. Yes. Um, for you to know, like there's ones that are lower capabilities and lower HP and there's ones that are higher capabilities uh, and higher HP stronger yes. in general so for you guys to 
if, if that helps with any kind of uh, decision making going forward. Understood, Harold. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Could I just hit him? Or I could set myself up later. I'm gonna go for the setup, which is kind of boring, but it's okay. I've been waiting to cast this spell. Okay. Uh, I'm casting Tensor's Transformation on myself. Okay. Oh, I gain 50 temporary hit points. I have advantage on attack rolls I make with simple and martial weapon. When I hit a target with a weapon attack, they take an extra 2d12 force damage. I have proficiency with all armor, shields, weapons, and martial weapons. Um, I have proficiency in strength and constitution saving throw, and I can it, and I can and I get extra attack if I didn't already have it, which I already do. So okay. I, that does nothing. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So. Wow. That exists and. I oh. do 16 damage to you. <laughs> oh, can you undo that? Uh, yeah. Now you have okay. 50 temp HP. Because it, it rolled the 2d12 because it's in the spell. Oh. Um, but it's like, like I could technically press that every time for a weapon attack if I wanted to. Uh -huh. But I'm going to give myself 50 temp HP. Yep. Um. Damn, look at that health bar. Yeah. And then for my bonus action... Double check, inventory, inventory. Where is it? Where, where is it? Where is it? Uh, I have to do something that's not concentration so for my bonus action. I'm gonna put um, Hexblade's Curse on Gonath. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's a spell. Uh, it's not, hold on. I will target and Hexblade's Curse. But it's not called that, I mean, right? uh, oh, oh, it is, I see. It was cursed, it was cursed. It was cursed. Uh, okay. So that has no effect right now. Yeah. Okay. I'll say he is... I'll mark him with Cursed. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Woo! That was spicy. Nine lives this turn. Probably doesn't do anything. Um... <laughs> he's he's obligated to us. Uh, standing in his way as he's trying to kill this reborn. Um, and uh, what, what what would he do? What, what would he use? Uh, um, he feels bad and <laughs> he says, sick. "I shouldn't be doing this. Let me fight with you guys." Does you uh, see him pick up his cane? Kind of like like you know move it high move his hand higher up on it and he's going to try and do like uh this sweep attack on you where he spins and uh just he's basically just clobbering you with the cane it's got like the sharp tip at the end that slices um as part of like it's uh like the head of the cane um so he uh with in response to you stepping in front of him you are no more than a pesky flea. Uh, does he have advantage on you? Or does it just stop? Does it, does it just gives disadvantage to people? It just gives disadvantage to okay. everyone but me. So I will make these with advantage. One. Two. Um, second one hits. And then very quickly in the middle of his spinning you're going to see him draw a dagger and he's going to attempt to plunge it into you mid-spin. Could you make me a constitution saving throw as the knife embeds itself uh, between the plates of your armor? I can. My constitution knows no end. Holy... Ooh! <laughs> that's big. He's cracked. He's, uh, 
Uh, and after he plunges it into you, he can see like your reaction happening like in live, uh, re in real time as your as the venom of the purple worm uh, courses through your body. Yeah, he knows what it is, baby. He knows what... He'll bare his fangs. He'll say, "Feel it course through your veins. Die." Mulka's turn. But I get my hands on this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mulka is seeing that Commander, sorry, Tyrant, is um, about to fucking blast this entire uh, balustrating. And he is going to um, like take a tactical step back step step out of the line of fire over toward the balustrading on the side and as he like gets up very close to the edge of the railing he's going to make sure he's out of the way and then he's going to see what he can see down here Basong he is going to make a He's going to cast Finger of Death. Does that do again? It's like a save, I think, right? It just kills you. No. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's, fair. It's just necrotic damage. <laughs> you just, just shall die. not be reborn. Um, make a con save. As you take 61 necrotic damage. Um, as his hand becomes this skeletal bony uh, apparatus and a necrotic uh, beam shoots into you delicately but courses through your body and causes you to feel decay within yourself um, Gonath's turn as he is Hexblade cursed so you did not step away Roland right? oh Roland's not even here anymore all right, well, Gonath is going to approach him. And as he steps forward, he's going to be, like, hefting his sword up, ready to strike. Fall on your sword, Roland! Ah! Um, one. Oh my god. Two, three. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a good idea, Mike. <laughs> Which one are you using that on? Hello. Cannon, you're about to be down. Cannon, you just got molested by Gonath. What the fuck? Can I, I didn't know Gonath was stronger than you, Cannon. Um, Why is he doing so much damage? <laughs> yeah, I mean, can He's I, on the stronger. last one... Most recent one? Can I go? Uh, can I paw it? Yeah, you can. Okay. I'd maybe paw the crit. Or, or maybe the, the critical, please. Can I do it on the crit? Yeah, you could do it. Oh, I can reduce the, the dice cannon. Yeah. Okay. So uh, well, you, I mean, you I don't know. paw the crit, and then, the like, you can do it on the yeah. non crit one. Okay. So I can yeah, do it on all of them. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Okay. Oh, because the, are the dies like a resource, Mike? Uh, no, so I can amplify it. So. I can apply it to all the creatures you tackle for the end of the turn. It's only worth doing on the 27 because it's not mathematically possible on the 20 on the 31 just for you to make okay. it move. Well, then I'll just do that one then. So, but you can, after I make him re-roll, you can also affect that one if I got close but not close enough. Do I want to do all of them or no? Okay, just roll 1d8 first. Well, I have to roll separate ones for all of them, so... Yeah. Okay, so Mike does cancel out the 27 one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then, so you can you, Harry, can you re-roll another attack yes. for the critical hit? Yes. Um, it's going to be while you're down, so I don't know what's going to happen, but... Yeah. yeah, I can just reset the... 
things. So, okay. And then, Mike, will you roll a d8 on that one? Okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. And I'll, yeah. Okay. Nice. 20. Yeah, and that's I, I have to well. take a d8, but... You take a d8 of damage? Oh. oh. Well, I can wow. do some healing soon. Mike is sacrificing Man, his that life. That ripped through. Because I had like 63 health and then 50 temp HP. So, okay. holy shit. You. I was gone for, for like simply five seconds. strong. <laughs> um, All right, so I'm out of paw anything. 19 plus 36 HP back, which is. Er, wouldn't it be 55? 36 plus 63 HP back? Because it's the crit? Well, yeah, that was the damage I took from the crit, but then I made him re-roll the attack. Oh, so I, I see. Yes. So you get 63. So... And... I'll just say I'll have my 50 temp and points back, yes, and then... I see what you're saying. And then I would have 13 plus... Because, yeah, because that last attack was like a fake attack. Yeah. Sort of. And then Mike saved me from the 36, so I'd be getting plus 13, plus 36. And then that would be my health total. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, you note that he attacked three times. Um, yeah. And uh, he also appears to have radiant damage on his attacks. I did notice that. Osiris. You scumfuck bitch. <laughs> Not you. You're Kana. off, Osiris. <laughs> Listen, Cannon, that, I want you to succeed. These guys right. want to kill you. I'm going to bonus action, uh, turn the tide. Uh, so Mike and Cannon, you guys will heal for six plus, Wait. you'll heal for nine each. Um, Max, yeah. Yeah, Holy shit! Right. And then, I think Max there is baby. a. Better thing to do. Like that ability is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's really it is good. pretty good. Technically, like, you still take it. damage. Yeah, well, that's only if I amplify it though. And then I'm going oh, to no, no, no. I'm gonna aura of vite. Oh wait, I run a concentration on the compelled duel. Do I care Mike about the compelled the ultimate duel? Support. No, Who are you no. compelling right now? Uh, the cat. But oh, he's gonna, fighting uh, you anyways. So who cares? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to cast. Ooh. Uh huh. A aura of vitality. Okay, that's Dude, that's actually nine sick. lines. Two o one. And then I think. Gonad hasn't been hit yet, so I'm gonna make a light on you, Will, to show that you are aura. Yep. Um, All right. And then I will pass. Thirty foot radius. I'm playing cleric, baby. <laughs> Will. Light. A legendary battle cleric. Thirty. Is it time? Light color. Yeah, and I'm playing a paladin. I'm gonna say it's like orange, yellow. Oranges. Let's go with that. Oh my god, it's bright. Hang on. Color intensity. That's better. Okay. And I'm actually going to give an extra five feet just so you know that cannon is in it as well. That happens with light sometimes. Okay. Osiris becomes a beacon of hope on the battlefield. Exactly. Not the beacon of hope spell, though. Oman's turn. We're the kingdom of sisterhood. <laughs> um. Oman. Uh. Seeing you get close. Is going to. Attempt. To. He's going. He's going to produce a. A knife from his sleeves, and he's going to attempt to make an attack, uh, attempt to stab you with it. The song, uh, you reckless last turn, yeah, he has advantage. So, 
could you make a wisdom save? Oh boy. DC 17 or be blinded for a minute. Please tell me that passed. Oh no. It did not. No. You can make this save at the end of each of your turns. It's okay. Just generate advantage and then it's still a straight hit. Yeah. He is going to attempt to step away from you while you're blind. You want to make an AOP with this advantage? Yes, please. Okay, go ahead. You successfully smack oh, him that's on advantage. the way out. Oh, well, they're uh, both 12s. So it's the same. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you hit him. Um, he is going to step away, and then he's going to... Um, let's see here. Uh, misty step to the top of that wall. How far does Misty step actually go, though? 30 feet. 30 feet. It's yeah. technically not far enough. Aren't the walls 40 feet high? Yeah, they are. No misties. A miscalculation. Uh, okay, so he won't do that then. He'll just uh, throw a... You can just teleport on that rock or something. <laughs> he, he would move over here a little bit, and he's going to huck a uh, crown of stars at you while he does so. Did I hear his feet hit the ground? Me? No, at uh, the song. Uh, <laughs> Cannon's like... <laughs> Cannon's like, leave me alone, please! Why does it keep hitting Oman, bro? I'm casting it on him. So it did 30 damage to him. Okay. A song, you take 30 radiant damage. Ouch, my bones. And he loses one of his stars on his crown. Um, a song. It is your turn. Uh, you asked if you heard him move. Yeah, did I hit him uh, hit the ground? Yeah, you would hear him uh, moving. Uh, make a perception check to see if you know exactly where. Yeah, you know the exact square that he's in. You just have disadvantage to hit him again. I scream. I, I charge at him <laughs> at that direction. Let's go. Uh, reckless, so this is just a normal attack then. It cancels out. Okay. Oh, dice, do me well. Alright, and then these two are with disadvantage each. Okay, yeah. Next two hit. Er, I uh, end my turn. Ones. Okay. Um. Would he say anything to you? I, I, what is happening? That one was not foretold! It's probably something he's mm -hmm. like. Tyrant's turn. Braylick. You stared down the barrel of Tyrant's, uh, Emerging hand cannon. Oh, wait, Harry, sorry. Yes. Uh, I hate to interrupt. I didn't make the blindness check at the end of my turn. Oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> sorry. Like, just... wait. <laughs> go ahead. I think it's a ca. Oh, wisdom. It is wisdom. Yeah. It's wisdom. Uh, oh, sorry. Goodbye, okay. Braylick. Um, and he is going to say the telltale. Discontinue life protocol. Uh, as do, 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 do. a massive beam erupts from the barrel of his hand cannon, and Braylick, you are uh caught in the blast. Not disintegrated, but very much, uh, 
downed. Instantly uh, killed, as it would say. What? What the fuck? Behind half cover. Is Braylix is down? Yeah, Braylix's yeah. down. I thought he had like full health. He did. Yeah, he did. That did 180 damage? Yep. Yes. Well, oh, it wow. doesn't do damage. It's an insta-kill uh, mechanic. Oh. Additionally, Konik, you witness this moment transpire before you. Any counterspellers? That's <laughs> can't counterspell <laughs> protocol spell. discontinue life. It is a uh, protocol. It is not a spell. Um, Harry that's really wants Braylon to die. It's <laughs> never been more <laughs> accurate. Hey, um, all I'm saying is uh, Jack. Jack uh, had some. He had some good advice at the beginning. Um, Jack, as you're witnessing this, um, I did have some good advice. Moment, as it would seem, uh, you make a note of the fact that Mulka saw this targeting sequence take place, and he actively got out of the way. Now, to you, this would imply that I know what this implies. Tyrant does not discriminate when he fires this laser. Yep. Whoa. So we just have to CC them in the laser. Braylick, you are downed. Um, can you make me your hat? Well, actually, okay, no, this is, um, I actually think that because this is a homebrew feature, obviously, Braylick's half orc resilience and his like barbarian resilience that he has should have an effect here. Okay. Braylick, do you have those features? I think you have two anti death mechanics, resilience. don't you? Uh, yeah, I do. Would you like to use it in this moment? I do think it makes no, sense. No, yeah. No, yeah. I, this I, isn't just I, a I cop out. It. From me. No, 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 yeah. I, I would, I would use it. Okay. If, if I'm able to, yeah. Yeah, um, which one do you want to use? Um, hey guys, I'm gonna call it right here. I gotta go to bed. Okay. Right, see you, Mike. Okay. Right, Mike, yeah, Mike, thank you for playing. I think, actually, since it's the top of this round of combat, we might want to just come back to this next time when we have everyone so, here again. So, Braylick's up with one HP, though, right? Braylick is up with one right, HP. Sounds good. Not good. Night, Night Mike. Mike. Night, Night Mike. Mike. Is everyone okay with that? Is everyone yeah, like, good yeah, idea? Because I know it's getting late for you guys. It's past midnight and everything, so. Yep. I don't it's wanna... 11. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. It's, it's good. If it's a top of combat, I might as well yeah. stop there. Yeah. I'm, I'm at least going to use my Relentless Endurance and bring myself to 1 HP. Okay. So yep. And, that way I'm Conic, up. this this ending it's description cooked. is this laser, you know, barreling through Braylick and, uh, you expect nothing to be remaining when this laser dissipates, and Braylick is still there. Um, sizzling steel. Sizzling and now standing. Um, after this uh, discontinue life protocol seems to fail, Commander analyzes this outcome. IMPOSSIBLE! And that's the end of the session. There's been a few upgrades, <laughs> Commander. <laughs> nice protocol, moron. Hey, you get that reference, Harry? Yes. Harry's ace in. Okay, so yeah, next uh, next session we will start at the top of initiative with Braylick and uh, continue onward through this this death ball of a combat. This magic shit kind of hurt. Yeah, Basong, it's been a bit <laughs> since you fought a caster, hasn't it? <laughs> also, why is Amon so bulky? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you haven't, um, that is a character that the players haven't really met yet, I guess. Is the, I mean, they met him in Cistern, but, um, 
His power level was unknown until this point. Oh well. You should have just Listen. joined the faithful few. If you guys, yeah, if you guys manage to get them to less than a hundred hit points, I can do something really funny. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Who you mean, um, Tyrant? Anyone. Okay. I mean, I'm about to pop, pop off, man. Yeah. I love when Cannon says he's about to pop off. It's my favorite. <laughs> hey, if I hadn't been paralyzed, this turn would have been crazy. Cannon, you have to survive one more round of Doramar before you can pop off. I, yeah, I, I I'm a huge fan of Cannon saying he's about to pop off. Between the sessions, uh, strategy. You know, there is no such thing as metagaming for this combat. You guys, uh, between this session and next session, if you, if you want to discuss how you want to approach things, um, that is fine by me. No, no, that's metagaming. We won't do that. I am good with it. The last combat that we didn't finish in one go was actually the Palisade combat with Chief Doramar. Um, and the giant and that massive half-orc combat. And so, I will pull you all to the landing page. I'm going to do this um, in case people want a reference for strategizing. And then... Oh, shit. And we're going to do the post session. On that note, I'm going to end the stream. I guess it's going to be in two parts this time. I'm probably going to download both and then just splice together the shitty the parts. The, take out the shitty parts. From the sky. Um, thanks for watching On the wind this I week's episode aside. of Tragedy of War. As the snow we will be back same time same place hopefully next week to finish this combat <laughs>